Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. How are you all doing? My name is Terry Ellis. I'm an audio reviewer and a direct live calibrator. Now, there's been lots of messages asking for me to do some demonstrations of my new Dolby Atmos home cinema system, which is currently a 7.1.4 system. So I've been busy, I've been at it, and I want to say it's a bloody difficult thing to do. Trying to record the sound from a Dolby Atmos system, so 11 speakers and a big ass 15 inch Rel Predator subwoofer back into two just stereo microphones is a real challenge, especially with you know movie type content where you've got big dynamic swings between quiet vocal and then huge great big bass how do you set up a volume level to record that it's a real challenge and then you've got the typical youtube copyright challenge of trying to get certain content through so you know this is the first time i've done this and I've been recording the sound of hi-fi systems now for two years. And if you listen to the first recordings I did, they were awful. So I've done the best I can. And I hope this video and the recordings gives you some impression of what this system sounds like. Bearing in mind, the microphones are facing forwards and they generally capture sound from sideways forward. So you're not going to get like a full surround effect. And obviously we're down sampling 11 speakers and a subwoofer down to just two speakers i'm guessing you'll be listening to it on back to stereo you also need to factor in i've made a few schoolboy errors i had the camera set to 25 frames per second filming 24 frames per second content which means I've got like a flicker going down the screen now i could try and edit that out using specific software but it means the render times take i don't know 15 to 25 times as long you know, I really don't think it's worth it. We're not here to analyze picture, yet we're here to analyze the sound of this system. Now, I've used two pieces of music and kind of like a like a, a movie type clip, which is a demo clip. One of them has come off A Star Is Born because it's got really some really fantastic music on it. But even in regards to that, I filmed two full clips. One of them you can use on YouTube. The other one gets completely blocked. So again, this would be a learning curve for me going forward what I can and can't film, and what will and won't make it back through YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this little demo and it gives you some indication of what this system sounds like. And possibly more interesting for some of you is it gives you some indication of how I set up a system. Now I've calibrated this system using Dirac Live and I've calibrated it using my new, at the moment, kind of prototype target curve. And I've listening to these recordings I actually think it could do with a little bit of tweaking, which is which is no surprise. When I go out to a customer's house, I spend you know 50 times as long setting up their system as I do setting up this one because I just don't get the time. I'm always working. In terms of how I set this, I set the system up at the moment. I've set it up for maximum impact, maximum impact from one subwoofer. I've definitely achieved that. I just feel like it maybe needs a little bit of a tweak here and there to make things better. Before I hand you over to the demos, I just want to introduce this to you. I have my first ginger beer experience a couple of weeks ago and I really love the stuff and I just took a random punt and bought I think 25 bottles of Bundaberg ginger beer from Amazon there'll be a link below the video in the description this is probably the nicest drink I've ever drunk in my life I thought I'd give a little shout out for Bundaberg ginger beer sadly these are not sponsoring me or not paying me to say this this is not a product placement even though I'm going to hold it right up to the camera like that wallop Australian family owned craft brewed over three days ginger beer this stuff is absolutely amazing and why have i brought this up is because i remember i don't know four or five years ago i went to a cinema place had a really fantastic day of some awesome demonstrations and they introduced me to san pellegrino lemonade i was so hot i've been sitting there for hours watching different movie content demonstrations and i did not want to leave and i was absolutely parched i was you know dying of thirst and this cold fizzy sort of, I don't know, bitter and sweet San Pellegrino lemonade just blew me away with its first quenching deliciousness. And I'll put a link below the video for that as well. But this is even better. This Bundaberg ginger beer is even better than that lemonade. So if you've been sitting watching Pursuit of Perfect System videos all day and you're dry and you're parched at first, sink a couple of these and you'll feel a million dollars. Right, hand you over to these demos. Hope you like them. I'll try and do some more of some different stuff coming soon. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Visit the website, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. Take care. Bye. The dust on the sky Burning in your eyes You look at me, baby Wanna catch on fire It's buried in my soul 
on the brink of anarchy, a new hope arose. An elite international task force charged with ending the war and restoring liberty to all nations. Overwatch. Soldiers, scientists, adventurers, oddities. Guardians who secured global peace for a generation. Under its steadfast protection, the world recovered. And today, though its watch has ended, its soaring ideals of freedom and equality will never be forgotten. That was so cool! In that one battle, they had Soundquake. Remember, he has, like, chest pistols. So which one's your favorite? Mine's Fusionator. No, 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 no. Tracer. Yeah, Tracer. She's like, she has love. The cavalry's here. <laughs> Whoa. That's Doofus Gauntlet. Oh, man. They 
said he could level a skyscraper. And remember, he was all fighting, and Winston beat him, and, and was like, Primal Punch! Oh. Uh, that's only in the Hall of Ids. Everybody knows Overwatch got shut down. Half of them are just mercenaries now. could always use more heroes. <laughs> <laughs> 